Hello everybody and welcome to the second episode I'll be filming on the Alamant TT Ride and Edge Free. As today we're going to do another lap of the Snell the Mountain Circuit. I don't know, the TT course. And we're going to be doing it in rain. I know. And we're going to be doing this challenge on a leaderboard. The current fastest lap is a 16 minute and 43. I can tell you now, we're not getting anywhere near that. Nowhere near. A good time for me will be underneath 20, but I'm aiming for a 20, at least a 21. Uh, where would that get us? Well, it wouldn't get us in the top 100. Okay. So, let's get into it, I guess. This is the bike we're going to go with, of course, Michael Dunlop. This is the career mode part, so come on, track map. Of course, it's the same track, the TT course, like I told you in the intro. Because if you weren't listening, you can sort yourself out and start listening. Alright, I kind of learned how to do a start. There you go, we didn't do a massive wheel that time. Traction control all the way up, will I? I'm not very good at this start part, at this first few bends, I always come off it. Yeah. Oh god. Oh well there you go. We couldn't even get past one slight bend. That is supposed to be flat out. So that's lovely. Next slight bend, oh god. I'm gonna lift. There you go. Fully lifted there. I didn't know you're supposed to turn this corner. Oh, this is so slippy. I've got no grip. Oh, no grip at all. Like I broke a little bit early, but I have no grip, so it is what it is. Full power now. Right next to the brick wall. Back into the middle of the road. Break just past that lamppost there. Go around the corner. Don't crash. Lovely. And continue ahead. Oh god! I felt very twitchy there. About 1 minute 13 seconds into the lap. And we're still not doing bad. Come on. And of course, you don't want to touch any of the curbs on this track, or else you will get thrown off your bike violently. And that is the same for in the wet as well. Come on. That was close. Very, very close to the curb there. Nice flat out part for a while. 160 miles an hour. So yeah, so far I don't think we're doing that bad. Lift. Oh, we touched the wall a little bit. Right, I think we're okay now. 169 miles an hour I got there, but then I accidentally pressed the brake. Brake a little bit earlier than the line, I guess, because I'm scared. And then fall flat out again. Yeah, there isn't many turns you're going to be taking flat out in the wet here. No. Oh, oh, on the curve. Crash number two. Alright, so let's get back into it then. Back into the flow. Alright then. On the leaderboard, I do hope to be in the top 500. So yeah, it'd be nice. And I have learnt how to drive the bike a little bit better. Since the last episode, I have done an extra like 15 hours worth of gameplay. So, yeah. And I've, I've also put the physics down to beginner, because I am 
not very good at this game. Could be four we're on intermediate. And you sure not use intermediate tires on this. You'll be using full wets. You want to break around about one of them lampposts, one of the signs there, the one with the two two sticks sticking out of one. Because this part of the circuit I've done at least 20 times now. And this, I'm probably going to crash and I've said this is the most experienced part. Because for your very first qualifying, very first unofficial qualifying, I did it loads of times because I did not understand the game at all. So yeah. I, don't, I can't remember if I did that before the episode or after. I think I did it after. And I crashed loads of times. And then after that, I decided to bump the game down to the beginner. So, yeah, let's get the foot on this throttle now. If you know it's not foot, no, pedal to the metal. Oh, don't look off the screen here, Tyler. You will crash if you do that. Right, now this part now. Don't ask me how corner names, because I, I don't know. Oh! Okay, we're back on it. And a little tip for people who are um, playing on this game. If when you're going slow, do not drive up a wall. It never ends well. Yeah. And that's the the one piece of advice I'd like to give you. Uh, now this, this corner, can I take it flat out? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I don't know. I'm gonna back out last minute. I have a good one that actually. This corner. Flat out corner. Brake on exit. Just brake a little bit more down the hill so I can get the bike rotated. Into this corner now. A little bit later, actually, this way. Don't break too much because we're in the wet. We'll break a little bit more, though. Be wary of the corner exit on the paint. Because the paint will be very slippery in the, the paint on the road, of course. Like the, the markings. They'll be very slippery in these conditions. So, yeah. Very good recovery. Bargara, I think that's where we are now. Get me knowing corners. I can't actually know this. Right, get ready for this corner now. Break a bit extra because we're in the wet. And of course, if you do have a bit of confidence in the wet, then of course you can go quicker than what I'm doing now. Because I'm not an expert. I want to consider myself semi pro. I can rate myself out of 10 in this game. Yeah, I'd have to go for a 4. Because 1, I don't really know the track very well. Yeah, I don't really know bikes very well as well. This is the first bike game I've played in over a year, easily. I think Moto GP 22 was the last bike game I played, and I only played that for a few hours. I did actually win a few races on it, so not bad. But then AI settings are probably really low. Talking about AI settings, I've got 37% and I need to boost it up a little bit. Because I'm absolutely smashing it, but I'm too scared of crashing to do it any time now. So probably for the time for the official TT I'll I'll have it up to a proper a proper time. And I might make an episode about the official TT, of course, because I, I think that'd be quite nice, going over the curb there. We'd have a separate episode for qualifying and then one for the actual race. And of course, I can't remember how the race works, I can't remember if it's four laps and a pit stop. But yeah, this, this bike I'm on now is fully maxed out, it is. So yeah. Up on the jump favourite. 
favourite corner and I'm just going to go and clip the inside wall so I don't get the full experience of the drum. Of course so be careful about it. If, there, if you're going around a corner and on the apex there is a wall, don't touch the wall because you will fall off. So that's how the bike works. Coming up to halfway now, almost. We're not too far away. Okay, this one's flat out. There you go. Front flat out corner there in the way. Although, I, um, there is a common argument whether this is the best track in the world, and I can easily say no, this is the best race track in the world, the Alaman one. That's easily. Better than any, better than Silverstone, better than uh, Interlagos, better than. Kota, better than Monza, better than any of them I'd say, I'd say, put myself on the spot there thinking of names of tracks now, better than Qatar, better than Miami, what's it one? Yeah, it's Monza, yeah better than Monza, better than Zandvoort, better than Spa, easily the best track in the world. Better than Magello. That's another really good bike track there. If you ever do have time, watch the race at, on bikes at Magello, it's amazing. Yeah, that's like all of things I have. And of course I don't I bikes aren't even my favourite events that happen at the Isle of Man. Sidecars for me, sidecars are always the best. The fact that I had a passenger and a driver. I don't think anything could be that on this track, other than cars, of course. I think if cars had an event in here, then there'd be no overtaking, because it's, it's a very tight track, you know. Yeah, there wouldn't be very much overtaking. Quite dangerous, yeah. And I'd just have to try and get myself into the race. Yeah. And especially if it's in that Subaru, that Is it Mark Higgins that did it? But I don't know, that one in Gran Turismo, the Alaman one. If you've not watched that lap as well, go on YouTube and watch it now. In a Subaru Impreza. And of course, I, I'm like a massive Subaru fan. Colin McRae uh, in Rallying. Richard Burns as well in Rallying. Oh, Getting sidetracked now. But yeah, Subaru Impreza, legendary car. Let's focus on the track now a bit. We are on course to get a sub 20, which is nice. And of course, we've had five crashes now, I think. Of course, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. If you're watching this far, if you don't think you are. Just talk to yourself at this point, aren't I? So yeah, we're coming up to Ramsey's now. Break here, I think it is. And, uh, yeah, actually, a tiny bit later. We actually got Ramsey's quite spot on there. Oh no, oh no, no, no. So yeah, we're on to the climb to the hill now. Of course, if you do ever visit the Alaman in real life, definitely go, go drive up the hill. It's a solid experience. Not doing it myself, but something I will do one day. I don't think I can officially say we're on the hill yet because I honestly I can't remember why it really starts. But yeah, I reckon we're on the hill now. It's starting to look a bit like it. Of course, all them pink flowers there, all the wild flowers there. 
native to the armor. You always get a great feel from this part of the track. It's one of the best looking parts of the track when it goes on the mountain here. Easily the best, one of the best parts. So, yeah. 14 minutes into the run now, and about a quarter left to go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Flat out this part. 166 miles an hour and I looped away for one second but I missed my turn point. Okay, let's get back into this now. And of course there will be, I'm going to make it a YouTube short soon on this game. If you've seen my other shorts, it's cool trick shots. Which I am very proud of that videos. Of course, they were on a tiny little 36 centimetre table. I do own a bigger one. I would like to get back into making the trick shot videos. But it was so hard to make on my own. I'd need a cameraman really. And of course the table I've got now, the new one, is so on level. The ball's just like curve without putting curve on. But of course you've not come here to watch pool. You've come here to watch Alaman. Which I don't blame you. One of them's a little bit more exciting than the other. And one of them I'm better at. It isn't there. Oh god, but if that was re if this is realistic I'd have been off there at that corner. The rear wheel just wanted to skid them. It's got so much wheel spin. Oh skidding so much through them corners. Sixteen minutes into the run now. I think that's the final split, I think. See how we're about 30 seconds away from not getting the record, which is sad. But if we can get into the top 100 here, this would be amazing. So I'm not, we're not going to, but that would be amazing. And I'm pretty sure it's just the top. This leaderboard's just for the console. Trying to sit up straight as well so you can see my entire face because whenever I'm crouched down, it's focusing. My face gets all obstructed by the wheel. Come on, Dunlop. Okay, bit offline there. But you know, I'll take my own line. I only listen to this for breaking. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Right, now we're going to down the hill now. This by far is the scariest part for me. Because I don't like... Well, I do like going down the hill. Just not on motorbikes. <laughs> Give me a down downhill on a uh, mountain bike. I can do that any day. Like in the forest and that. Oh, on a mountain bike going 160 something miles an hour going down bank. No, thank you. I'd rather go up bank. That's the same for cars as well. I'd love to be a rally driver, but um, it's a bit scary. Although I think I'd rather be a rally driver than Formula One. I don't know. Rally just feels a bit more dirty. What's the preference? Right then, right then, right then. Getting into a technical part now. Really close to that last hairpin, the Glen, whatever it's called, hairpin. The one that causes me loads of problems every time I go there. If I told you I went through there five times and I've only not crashed once, would you believe me? Because I would. 
Come on. We're literally so close to the finish line. And we are on for that sub 20. Sub 20 run. Take it wide. Ooh. Oh my god. This last corner. Go on. Power, power, power. Foot down. Get your head down. Maximum aerodynamics. Come on. Scratch my eye. Make sure we don't crash. Oh god. Yes! We did it. Sub 20. 19 minutes and 20 seconds we did that in. Uh, how do I get the leaderboard now? Do I press continue? Yeah, I don't know if I wasn't recording this. I'll be a bit mad. So let's have a look at the leaderboard. It was this one. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. We're in the top 100! We're in the top 100! Come on! Yeah! Top 100! Come on! We're in the top 100 and we crashed five times. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, sub 19 is possible. Sub 19 is possible. Well, we did quite well there. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very impressed with that. On the Yamaha. Not bad. I'll take that. I'll take that over crap result. But then yeah, how how far off are we off? Like seventieth. Thirteen seconds. So if I get a if I get an 18, I'm 62 in the world. Well, on PlayStation, I think. Not bad. Wow. You'll have to give that a try next episode. Because I don't know when next episode's going to come out, but it is what it is, eh? So then, this has been this episode of uh, Michael Dunlop here. And if you've enjoyed this video, subscribe. If you watched this far, you should definitely subscribe because this will be the first time anybody's watched a full episode of mine. So yeah, subscribe and like and you can go now.